So what grade did you get in your overall class? I literally finished with an What? Oh, I cried. Oh my gosh. If you've been following along with the series where I help another YouTuber pass chemistry, we've finally reached the end and get to learn if she got the grades she wanted. In my wildest dreams, I would love to get an A. Um, honestly, I need to get really high grades in all my science courses in order to get into the PA program. So that's my goal. Um, but right now it just feels impossible because I'm so overwhelmed with the material. Luckily, we were able to do a three hour study session before her first exam and she was able to pass it with a C. Now I don't recommend cramming, but if you're gonna do it, I recommend studying with my videos. From there, we met every week. She studied on her own, reviewing my notes and flashcards, doing all of the practice problems, and watching my videos. We did this for all five of her exams this semester in hopes of getting an A and getting her closer to a career in medicine. So let's give her a call and find out what happened. Hello. Long time no see. You feeling a little less stressed now that you don't have to deal with this class anymore? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm in Gen Chem 2 now. True. So. <laughs> True. Probably feeling more stressed now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was it taking, because I mean, this is like such a different process, like taking your final online. How was that? Um, I feel like it was less stressful <laughs> just because like, I don't know, I just was in the comfort of my home. So I didn't feel like, I don't know, like I find it stressful taking exams, especially like in at school, you know what I mean? So it was nice to just be home where I'm normally at, where I always study. Was there anything that you felt like you wish you would have studied a bit more? Naming compounds, because I just know that's one thing that I always, always, always have a hard time with. <laughs> It doesn't end. It's I always know. that one it thing. End. But that's great. I'm glad that you felt like you prepared because I know a lot of times like we cram. I know that honestly I've crammed before for a final or even like a test in general. Yeah. So a few days before the final actually was happening, uh, I started studying like ahead of time. You know, we had uh, stuff online. I basically I didn't have anything because it was the ACS. So I had to use all of my material just over all of the other exams to kind of prepare for it. So I used a lot of your notes and your videos and um, also the study plans were really helpful just going through those and making sure like I hit all the key points. Um, but I felt good about it. By the time I took the exam, like I felt just like ready to get over with, you know? <laughs> That's great. That's because typically like sometimes you feel like, oh man, I, I don't, I never really feel like I'm ready. And then, yeah. or you kind of like wonder like, you know, did I study everything? I was wondering like if we covered everything, you know, I was nervous about that, but everything I saw, like I knew we covered everything. So that's good. <laughs> did you have enough time? I did. Yeah. I didn't have an issue with time. I did use all of my time though. Like I went back at the end and looked at a couple problems that I like wasn't finished, you know, that I wanted to like double check on, but I didn't want to spend too much time in the moment. So what grade did you get on your final? So on my final, I got a 91. What? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh my gosh. You got a 91% on the ACS final exam. I couldn't believe it. I literally cried afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so proud of you. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> but seriously, like that is such a huge improvement. You went from, you got a C on your first exam to getting A's. Just like A's. I just kept seeing that in you. Wow. I know. I never thought I could do it. Like, I just, I know. I'm so shocked. <laughs> so what grade did you get in your overall class? I literally finished with a 98 and I am not kidding. <laughs> a 98. I cried when I saw oh my, my grade. Gosh. I got an A plus. Like, <laughs> You've got an A plus. I'm, I'm honestly tearing up. I don't up. know how. Like, how did this happen? Like, I was convinced that something went wrong. Like, this is a mistake. <laughs> Like, no, I really did that. So your goal in this, wow, your goal was to get an A. <laughs> you got even higher than that. You got an A plus in the class. I did it. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe it. That's what's getting me through Gen Chem too. Because I'm like, listen, if you did that, exactly. you can do this. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm so proud of you. Seriously. Thank you. I've come really far. <laughs> You've come so far. And then, and the beautiful thing is that you have the foundation now in chemistry so that, yeah, Chem 2 will be easier. You now have that like confidence of like, Psh, I got an A plus in Chem, you know? <laughs> like, like what? Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> it's amazing, I know, I just can't even believe that I got through that. <laughs> so now that you've gone through all of this and taken, you know, taking a chemistry class, 
What's your advice for anyone going into this? I think it's super important that you review the information well before the test, like constantly. You know, it takes a little bit every day, I would say, for a class like chemistry. And I'm in Chem 2 now, so I realize that, like, you really do have to study, like, every day. Um, So I would suggest that. And then I also think it's really important to, like, preview the material before you're taught it. And I kind of learned that with you during our study sessions. Like, you would send me information to look at beforehand, and then by the time I was with you learning it like it wasn't the first time I was seeing it so I think that like before you learn it from your professor try to read over it watch videos and get an idea of what it is you're learning beforehand that's my advice (laughs) that's actually the secret to learning I honestly think um, for all of these science classes is to just have more time with the material repetition is the basic way that we learn Mm -hmm. now that you are in chem 2 and like, do you see anything that from Chem 1 that you're using again? Some of the naming yep. <laughs> um, has yep. come back. But I'm proud of myself because <laughs> those main ones you made me remember, I knew when I started getting into this again. I was like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. I'm trying to remember some of the other stuff. We did, like, right off the bat, we did some um, stoichiometry, molarity, and all that stuff, which I had already known how to do from you. And... Yeah, it, it all comes back. I mean, you pretty much everything, like, it comes back in some way or another, like, you need to know. Yeah, totally agree with Chem 2. You're going to see, you're going to see a lot. So you're definitely going to see stoichiometry, molarity, um, what else? You're going to see redox reactions, that comes back. Yeah, Hess's we're doing law, that, yeah. yeah, some thermochem. Naming compounds doesn't go away, you know, and mm-hmm. even when you get into ochem, now there's a whole new, like, naming system that you'll have to learn. Oh, God. <laughs> Looking back on your semester, is there anything you wish you would have done differently? I would say take maybe like I don't want to say I didn't take it seriously from the start, but I do think that I could have scored better on my first few exams had I realized at the beginning that this is going to be a hard class. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I didn't realize how much work it was going to require and after like those first two exams where I scored like I think I got like a 78 and then like an 80 or something like that. Then after that is when I was like, okay, I need to buckle down and spend more time. And then after that is when I started doing really well. So I just needed to put more time into studying, you know, and practicing, like do practice problems. That's so important. I definitely noticed that when, when we worked together, um, with like, like the, let's see, I think it was like two exams that you got A after A and that was the difficult stuff. So I was really proud. Um, and it was pretty much just like us having more practice problems, making sure that, and I noticed that you were, you know, watching the videos, you were taking better notes, you were really working hard and seeing like, okay, I need to get going on this. And I think that that even like with like even looking back at my own, you know, classes and the reason why I didn't pass the first time around um, was the same thing. I didn't take it as seriously. I, I didn't think that this was that hard of a class. This is different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the real deal, you know? And, right. And um, yeah, so I, I definitely think that's something that we we don't think it's going to like be as hard as it is, especially the first test is the easiest test that you will take the whole entire semester. And I'm sure you see that now with like, really, yeah. you know, like sig figs and dimensional analysis. Like I found that hard now that you're at the I end. Know. Yeah. yeah. And like, so like before, like, I mean, now you're just going to keep seeing how, how much you're going to improve, how much you can honestly understand these complex concepts and, you're going to see how smart you are. Like I've, yeah. you know, I've honestly, I, I've seen it from the start. I knew that you were capable. Thank you. <laughs> so you mentioned you're taking chem two and this is a summer class, right? Yes. How many weeks do you have? Six weeks. Six weeks. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> now I have five left. <laughs> Cause I'm always curious with like these, like I know these really fast paced classes, which is summer classes. Um, how are you feeling right now? Like how much have you gone over? Oh my gosh. It's so much. <laughs> so much it's it's moving so fast and I was under the impression that maybe the final would not be the ACS because I'm thinking how are we going to cover everything that a full term would cover but it is the ACS which means that we're not like skimping on any chapters like we're still covering all the material we're doing like three or four chapters a week um the lectures are three and a half hours long twice a week Dang. It is rough. <laughs> I think you'll do fine. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm so glad that this is how it ended. Like, this is like a perfect, like, even better than I honestly could have expected. I, 
Like, I know we both were working towards that A and working yeah. to get you, you know, to get you that, but... When you were telling me at the beginning, like, you're going to get an A, like, throughout the semester, you're good. When I had, like, an 80 as my class average, and you're like, yeah, you're going to get an A, don't worry. Like, I know you are. Yeah. I just, like, was like, I feel so bad. I'm going to let her down. Like, I'm not getting an A. <laughs> and I got an A. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> a lot of times I think it's just like you don't you don't always see, you know, like like what's coming or your own potential. Like that honestly happens. And personally, mm-hmm. like us working together, I, I saw your potential. I saw that you were working hard. I saw that you did pick it up quicker than, you know, I expected, or I saw other people picking it up. And I know you didn't feel that way at all, but <laughs> But yeah. but yeah, like I definitely saw it, but seriously, this, this worked out even better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I could, couldn't have done it without you. You were like the biggest help ever, like pushing me through the whole time. Absolutely. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm so happy. Like, I'm really glad that I found your video and then I reached yeah. out to you like early on and that we could do this whole series so people can see like it is possible, even if you haven't taken this class before, if you don't feel yeah. like, you know, you can do it, there is still hope. I'm so proud of her. I knew that she was capable of getting an A, but she couldn't see it yet. And now she has so much confidence going into her next class. Now, if you've already taken chemistry this semester, I wanna know how you did. Did you watch the series? Did it help? And if you haven't taken chemistry yet, this playlist is perfect for you. Regardless of where you are in your education, I want you to know that you are capable of succeeding and don't compare yourself to someone else's journey because that's different. Focus on your own progress.